Hey guys, the Cube Dude here, and I just got back from Hawaii, and it uh, turns out I lost my 2x2 two two there, or I left my 2x2 two two in the hotel, the Feng Shui Shua Shuang, or Shua, whatever it's called. I completely forget the name of that every single time. Even after I look it up, I just forget about it. But this package comes from Rubik's.com, and it should have a jigsaw puzzle, as well as the new Speed Cube, if I ordered the right one. I remember Red KB had like two different 3x3s. I'm not sure if I got the right one. I really hope I did, but here is this. And again, I'm using the very ghetto uh, tripod. Hold on. So here's the jigsaw puzzle. I'm not taking it out. But there's 55 pieces. And there's 1,814,400 different ways to assemble this, but only one way is the correct way. So that's pretty crazy, I think. So uh, in my math class, my teacher, Miss Walla, I'm not sure if you're watching this, but if you are, hi, Miss Walla. Uh, but she always has puzzles in the back of the room, and if you're done with like a math problem or whatever, if you want to come in early to class, you can just go in the back and solve it, or uh, yeah, solve the jigsaw puzzle. And once it's solved, she puts out a new one, so I'm going to hopefully put this one out after the next one is solved, and hopefully somebody could figure this one out. So I'd love to see how challenging it is. But there's that. Actually, I might open it up just to show some of the pieces because I want to know what they're like. Alright. Let's take a look at these pieces. Oh, these are pretty big. So there's this, which I guess goes in. Oh, this goes in the right in the middle. That's pretty cool. I've never seen a piece that. just like that. And this will be so confusing. What kind of jigsaw puzzle? Has pieces like that. That is gonna be so, so confusing. Wow, just, just wow, that'll be really, really hard. So, I wish luck to anyone who has this jigsaw puzzle and wants to give it a shot. And uh, here is a stand. This is a new Rubik stand because this is uh, coming out. Let's see if you can see it there. Yeah. So, this is coming out of the actual stand. Let me show you an old Rubik stand compared to the new one on the left. I like it a lot better. It still says Rubik's on the other side. It's just in black. So there's the stand. Now let's take a look at the cube itself. First thing I see are tubes with springs. So you can change the springs. Then this to protect the cube. This is a weird cube box. I've never just seen a blank one. But here is the actual new Rubik's Cube. I can tell it already, it already is a little bit better. Uh, let's see if there's any holes. There's small holes there. But uh, let's do first turns. Uh, this is actually a lot better than I was expecting. This could possibly be someone's main. I'm pretty sure nobody in the world has a Rubik's Cube a Rubik's Brand puzzle as their main for 3x3, but this definitely has potential. Maybe after modding and looming, it's going to be pretty good. The middle layers are alright. This is really cool, and instead of stickers, these are tiles, and they're kind of embedded in the plastic, so they're not raised up. So this is competition legal. Let me just do a quick solve for you guys. Hopefully this is in frame. Uh, let's do that. I've actually noticed I've been getting a little bit slower lately. It really sucks because I really want to get faster. But I've just been practicing mainly 2x2. Two two. So it's kind of catching... But other than that, it's a really, really great 3x3. Three three. If you start with the regular Rubik's brand, then I would just go straight to this to kind of get more used to speed cubes, and I wouldn't go straight to his Angie. This would be good just like for intermediate solvers, but it's also pretty good for beginner speed cube solvers. There's like speed solvers or advanced or whatever. This is just a great 3x3. Three three. Definitely a lot better than I was expecting. Let's take a look at checkerboard, see the uh, colors. 
contrasting against each other. I like the blue green and I'm not really fond of the yellow. It's kind of dull. But anyways, there's that quick unboxing. So I would definitely recommend getting this 3x3. It's a great intermediate solver cube. It's definitely main worthy. It definitely has the potential of it. It's still overpriced because it's Rubix, of course. But uh still has potential for a main. And I'll definitely be playing around with this. I won't just I won't just like lay it there and leave it there for weeks. I'll actually put it on my nightstand, which is where I put all my mains. Because I definitely want to mess around with this, maybe lube it, tension it. I will not be messing around with the screws because I hate doing that. But still, it's a great puzzle. So I hope you all enjoy this unboxing from Rubix.com. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the Letter War winners. This video's letters are FPW. Read the description if you are confused what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.